Unity Virtual Production Episode 8, using an iPhone to control the virtual camera. We are going to access the gyroscopes in here. There's a bunch of really awesome sensors in the iPhone. We're gonna access these sensors and use it to control a virtual camera tilt and rotation, okay? You can also do this with an Android on a PC, but because I have my new iPhone, I'm gonna use it. And also in this, I'm gonna do it on my laptop. And this is a, a Retina MacBook Pro, and it's from 2012, so it's becoming eight years old. And this is great because it shows that Unity works great on PC and Mac, works great, and you don't need a new awesome computer to be running these things. All you need is your computer, an iPhone, and a cable, okay? So to start it off, I'm going to plug my iPhone into my MacBook Pro, okay? And then the second step is I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to download the Unity Remote app. So I have here the Unity Remote app, and this is all you're gonna see when you open it up. I'm gonna open up Unity, and I'm gonna create a new project, and I'm gonna just call it Gyro Virtual Camera. My Unity project is loaded, and for this tutorial, it's actually very simple. I found out an even simpler way to do it than is even in the Unity manual. And this is by Wolf's Cry Games on YouTube, as he has a fantastic way of doing it. Here's our scene. We're gonna create a 3D object. We're gonna create a cube. If I wanted to rotate it myself, you can see that we're gonna rotate this cube just like that. So what we're gonna do next is put a script onto this cube. So we're gonna grab this cube, go down to add component, and we're gonna call this gyro script. And I'm gonna double click, and I'm gonna open this up. Now we're gonna write out a couple lines of code here. So at the top, we're gonna to have this private void start. So what this is saying to, from Unity is that if your device or if Unity is running and it has a device that has a gyro, then we're gonna enable that gyro. Now we're gonna go down to the void update. Okay, so here is our code that we are checking first to see if we have a supported gyroscope, and then the we are gonna call on this quaternion gyro to Unity We've hit save, and now that we're in Unity, I'm gonna go to File, Edit, Project Settings, and can open this up further. And we're gonna go to Editor, okay? And here we go, at the top, Unity Remote Device, any iOS device. So I'm gonna hold my device, and I'm gonna hit play, and as you can see here, I'm now rotating this cube using my phone. Let's take the data, the rotation data, and put it into the log so we can view it in real time. We want this to happen every frame that's updated. We want this information to be updated. Now I'm gonna add this line of code right here. And if you take a look at the Unity scripting API, there's a bunch of things that we can grab, types of data that we can grab from the phone and display it in Unity. So what this is gonna do, I'm gonna click save here, is that this is gonna show us more about what's going on with the rotation of the phone in Unity. So I'm gonna hit play, and it's gonna boot up. And as you can see, at the bottom now, it's gonna give me the, the live rotation of what's going on. So with this data, I know what my real camera's doing, and I can mimic that in the virtual world. 
let's take this a step further and now let's take the camera and attach it to this object that's rotating. Now, here's the cube with the script, okay? And here's our main camera of the scene. So what is gonna happen if I take the script and I drag it onto the main camera, okay? So let's hit play and see what happens. So as you can see, I need to figure out my X, Y, and Z axis of the phone. But for right now, for this example, you at home, you can have fun playing with this and changing it up depending on your situation. What you're gonna wanna do is you go back to the code and right here, you can change you know, the, the, the rotation of your object right there. Let's take a look at another way that we can rotate the camera, okay? So the gyro script, I'm gonna go down here and remove the component. And what I can do is drag the camera to be a child of the cube, okay? And then when I hit play, the camera is now moving around without needing another thing and I can point and I can control the camera from just being a child of the cube. The attributes are dropped down hierarchically. And now as you can see, I'm moving my phone as a camera in the virtual world. There's a lot more that we're gonna do with this. There's a lot more work to be done here. So this was just how to set up the gyro and check out my next video and we're gonna take this a step further.